This is Pete. Pete's a great guy, but he doesn't have a smart home. Pete doesn't know that he left the lights on when he left his house, nor does he know that his windows are open, which means that his room is going to be sub-zero temperatures when he gets home. This has caused him to be severely mentally disabled and has crippled his ability to get a girlfriend. Hey, that seems more like a personal attack than anything. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Billy Mays. Today we'll be breaking into Pete's house to install and demonstrate a revolutionary new smart home system, HomeNode. You see, buying a smart home system can cost an arm and a leg. You see Pete right there? He can barely afford his own child support bills. How is he supposed to afford his own smart home system? We're here to offer you a smart home alternative so that you both people don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on another smart home system. Now, ordering a HomeNode device is very simple. Let me show you. First, head on over to homenode.tech, click purchase, and choose your modules. With HomeNode, you can monitor many different factors of home living such as temperature, humidity, light level, moisture, intruder detection, and more. Then, wait for your home to arrive in 3 to 500 business days. Oh look, our delivery's already here. Go my hall. Wait, how did you get in here? Bruh. Oh my. Oh wow, everything seems already installed. Thank you, Shiva Kyo Kyo. You can go now. Tip. Uh, I don't have coins. Okay, well now that we've installed HomeNode into Pete's house, it's now time to sign up for an account with the ID provided on your package so you can connect your smart home to the cloud. So what you're going to do is first go onto homenode.tech and then you're going to want to create an account. So you can click sign up here and you can fill in your information. So we're going to do this for Pete. So his name is Pete. And then the home ID is going to be the home ID provided by uh, the packaging. So in our case, it's going to be 8008. And then simply click sign up and then you will be in the interface. And voila, it's as simple as that. And here we have all of our live data presented to us in a very nice user interface. So now I'd like to introduce you guys to the amazing team behind HomeNode. Hi, I'm Zach and we are the team behind HomeNode. HomeNode was created as a cheaper alternative to modern smart home systems. And not only is it cheaper, but we're tackling the functionality that the big companies are just too afraid to tackle, such as monitoring your plants, checking if your home has had intruders in it, or even monitoring light level for some reason. So before we get into the details, let's meet the team. I am Zach, the backend engineer, project leader, and only team member with a girlfriend. Hi, I'm George. I'm the front-end uh, developer, and uh, I'm just really mad at what Zach just said. Hi there, I'm Steven. At HomeNode, I'm the hardware server integration engineer, which means that I take all of that sensor data and I make sure it's packed nicely and safely and is sent across the server for all of our users to see. I don't have diarrhea. My teammates just hate me. Oh. <laughs> 
Go next. Oh, yo. Oh, <laughs> Hello. I am Michael, the Hogwarts Firmware Wizard over here. And I, am, I don't have a girlfriend, but I'm not as depressed as Steven over here. And now let's talk about all the modules at home note. First, to your left over here, we have the intruders module. It has three sensors. One is a door sensor. It will tell you if someone has broken into your door. Now, then we have the motion sensor over here. This will tell you if someone's invading and actively taking things from your house by detecting their motion. And finally, we have this camouflaged window sensor. It will tell you if it detects that your window has been broken into and hopefully it doesn't break like this in the actual house. Now, if we move over here, you'll see that we have this neat thing, which is if you're too lazy to take care of a plant, but you want a plant anyways. This is the plant module. It has a plant, as you can see, and a light and a pump for pumping water into it. So it uses sensors to detect when it needs to be watered and when the light needs to turn on. So if their light disappears for some reason like this, in a few moments, this light will turn on into a nice vibrant pink. And finally, if we move on way over here, we'll see our sad little uh, sensors module. That'll just tell you the temperature. You can really put this anywhere, so it doesn't matter where it is. And now all the data from all these modules, go over to the Raspberry Pi as a data packet. Hi, I'm a data packet. We. This is the resistors module. I'm trying to go from the Arduino to the Raspberry Pi, which accepts a lower voltage. So my colleague Michael presented all these amazing modules that allows you to monitor your plants, monitor your home, and make sure there are no intruders in your house. And we do that through amazing sensors. However, a smart home isn't really smart without being able to connect to the cloud, am I right? And this is why we need a Raspberry Pi. So essentially the Raspberry Pi is hosted in this box. And as you can see, we have a Raspberry Pi hidden over here. So essentially what it does is it is connected to all of these sensors through a serial line. And it reads from that serial line and then parses that data into a nicely formatted JSON format. Now I'm ready to go to the server. And it's gonna take that JSON object and it's gonna send that to a centralized server that we have hosted Wee. on homenode.tech. Now I'll pass on to Zach who will be talking about how the server actually functions. So it was built in TypeScript uh, with Node.js. It was uh, containerized with Docker um, pushed a Docker Hub, pulled onto our DigitalOcean server. Basically, we have the, the four main types of requests. So anytime that we need uh, the front end or the Raspberry Pi needs to get data, they send a get request. I uh, handle the body and query parameters, connect to the MongoDB database to either add data or receive data. Uh, uh, uh. and send back the response to either the uh, front end so that they're able to access and show data or to the uh, Raspberry Pi, I send back data so that they're able to make decisions. This is the server processing my data. Again, and again, and again. Whee! <laughs> and the final piece are the cron jobs. So every day at midnight, it will reset all the data from that day into a single nice piece of data so that you're able to access all the data from past days and just see it as a nice graph and only have to store the data about the current day. And so to find out what it's like to actually see that data, um, we can talk to George about the front end. Okay, open the door and then get George, you are summoned. Yes. <laughs> oh no. So once you've logged in, you can see all this data in the dashboard presented to you. So here you can see there's we have the sensors module, the intruders module, and the plant uh, module. And they each show this specific data um, about each of their sensors and what they're doing and all that stuff. And all this is uh, pulled from using the backend API. So I just make a few HTTP requests and it just gets the data from there. Your presence is requested by a front end user. I am free. Finally free! Whee. Here you can see a few charts, uh, helps you visualize the data you actually get from these sensors. If you want to learn more, we have a little module wiki, which uh, tells you about what each of these sensors are made up of and what they each do. Of course, there, we have a nice settings panel, lets you toggle dark mode. 
And uh, yeah, you can, you can enable email notifications, uh, you can e enable or disable intrusion detection. For example, when you're in the house, you probably don't want a uh, home node to constantly let you know that someone's in your house. Now I will demonstrate what happens when someone breaks into your house with home node installed. Oh no, someone broke into my house. The window is open. Wait, the light just went out. What do I do? Oh, thank God, home node turned the light on. Oh, phew, it says I'm safe now. That's good. Oh, sh What the f man? A few moments later. Bruh. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. To give a bit of more context to the actual video, this was done for one of our software engineering classes and this was just a video that was too hilarious not to share on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.